we're going to explore how to install this N6700C power supply in this test rack system and go through some best practices how to integrate a power supply and a test system. I'm Brian Whitaker, a product marketing engineer here at Keysight. And I'm Daniel Bogdanoff, a test gear geek here at Keysight, but basically just here for some muscle to get this thing into the system. So we have the rack mount kit installed, but there's some things we want to take into consideration before we install it. So first, you want to take into account where the air intake valves are. So they're over here and the exhaust in the back. So this is where you really want to make sure you use a proper rack mount kit that does not block either the air intake or the exhaust valves. And that's why we use an official rack mount kit from Keysight for this install. And also, the exhaust coming out of this power supply can be hot. This can be a particular issue with power supplies. This is where you want to really take into consideration where you put the power supply in the rack. Generally, you want to keep power supplies away from heat sensitive instruments. This instrument is only around 400 watts. The Keysight also offers instruments up to 30 kilowatts. So this is where you really need to take that into consideration. So 400 watts maybe depends on how sensitive your equipment is, but 30 <laughs> kilowatts, you're definitely gonna have a lot of heat coming through and you wanna separate like your nice DMM from your power supply. Right, absolutely. All right, let's get this in the rack. So now we have the physical install done. It's nice and secure in here. Is there anything we should think about for the electrical install? Yeah, absolutely. Let's flip the rack around. Okay. So here's the back of the N6700C. Here's your AC input line. And planning your AC input line, you really want to take into consideration the maximum current ratings of each instrument. Because the current draw can vary greatly based on the load. Therefore, you want to plan for the worst case scenario. So basically you want to plan for each equipment pulling its full rated load right. and have enough power to support the whole rack running full power. Yes, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So next you have your IO and control ports and then your electrical connections. So another consideration with your routing is that you generally want to route the power wiring away from signal carrying wiring because power wiring can generate a lot of electrical noise which obviously can interfere with the signal. So just like we had the instruments separated, we had our power supply and our DMM for thermal and EMI, we also want to make sure our cable routing is separated. Absolutely. So now the power supply is electrically and mechanically connected, so we're ready to run some tests. Check out our other videos on how to program the power supply, how to protect your DUT, and also how to select the right modules for your application.